But Paul said, there is no good thing in the flesh. Brother, so there ain't nothing good in it. And you know what's so deep about it? When he's talking to you, you know what he's trying to get. <laughs> you know what he's trying to do. But let me change that. Now in today's world, you know where she's trying to go. See, when I was growing up, it was the brothers doing all the game. But now these women got more game than the brothers. <laughs> the brothers got to watch out. They will snow a brother in a minute. <laughs> Amen. Sisters got so much game, before they know it, that sister would be done with somewhere that she didn't know she was going. <laughs> so you got to watch the brothers and the sisters. Oh, Lord. Because there's nothing good in you unless you got the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Yes. And the only reason the Holy Ghost is in you because you got the devil and the hell out of you. That's right. Amen. Amen. The only way that the Holy Ghost is coming in is sin got to get out. Amen. As long as you sin it, don't worry about getting the Holy Ghost. You're not going to get it. You can fool the preacher, you can fool the bishop, but you can't fool God. Amen. If Christ the captain can't fool the bishop, because God lets him know when you're tripping. Amen. I don't care if you're singing up in the choir. God lets him know when you're tripping. I don't care if you're preaching the word. God lets him know when you trip. That's right. Preach, Pastor. That's Lord. right. He don't leave the shepherd untold. Come on now. He just trying to get you time to repent. That's right. Because as a child of God, if you don't repent, God is going to expose you. That's right. Amen. Oh, yeah. You see that all that singing, it don't move me. I'm checking you out outside the city. That's right. I'm checking you out in the grocery store. That's right. Come on. I'm checking you out on Facebook. Uh -huh. I'm checking you out on MySpace. Amen. Help us out. Preach up. Preach. Help us out. Playing. Help us out. Teach us, man. Help us out. Some of y'all put too much of your business out on Facebook. Yeah. Right. And warning to all you parents that lie and put your daughters and your sons on Facebook and they weren't old enough, you need to repent. <laughs> to be on Facebook, you got to be 13 years old. To get on Facebook, you had to put your birthday on the contract. Some of y'all lied and put y'all children out on Facebook. God says sin is still sin. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well. Saints, we got to be holy all the time. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. All the way. Help Why do you think they Help put an age limit on the thing? That's right. Because they know a 12 year old, 11 year old ain't got no business out on Facebook. Right. They may get caught up in something that they can't handle. That's right. And we stupid enough to put our children out there so the devil can mess with their mind. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Man. Seeing is still seeing. Glory. Right. In Luke, the ninth chapter, verse number 62, Jesus said unto him, No man, somebody said, No man. No y'all preach to me today, so I know y'all listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Right. Jesus said, And I've given you this precious Holy Ghost. I'll let you know how good it feels to speak in an unknown tongue. And you go back and put your hand on that rusty man. You go back and let that man lie with you in no life. You're not fit for the kingdom of God. That's the Bible. That's your Bible. Seeing is not suitable, church. Seeing is not appropriate, church. Sin is not just church. 
Sin is not right. It's always wrong. Always, always. Sin is just sin. Did you all know? I'm asking you a question now. The lying is still sin. Did you all know that stealing is still sin? Did you all know that backbiting is still sin? Did you all know that jealousy is still sin? Did you know that fornication is still sin? Laying with a man or woman with no license, it is still sin. That's right. You can't practice marriage. You got to be married. Amen. That's the way God intended it. That's right. He didn't intend for sex to be ugly. He didn't intend for sex to be nasty. He intended for it to be wonderful. But he intended for a man and a woman that had a license and that was married. He didn't intend for a man to have sex with another man. He didn't intend for a woman to have sex with another woman. Right, right, right. It's nasty. Right, right. As Mr. Brown said,